Managing Inventory Using File Exchange Objective In this video, we will learn to use File Exchange, an advanced selling management tool that enables sellers to load and manage their inventory on eBay easily and efficiently. Once sellers create a data file using an eBay file exchange template, they can easily transfer their files from their computer to eBay. Features and Benefits Let us look at the features and benefits of file exchange. It helps to upload inventory directly to eBay using a Microsoft Excel compatible .csv file. It enables adding, revising, relisting and ending listings in bulk. It helps to create result reports to notify users regarding successful and unsuccessful listings. File exchange is valuable for sellers who want to upload and manage their eBay inventories in bulk. Please note that you must subscribe to Selling Manager Pro to be able to use file exchange. Let us see how file exchange works. Using file exchange Start by logging into your eBay account. Next, go to My eBay and then click on Activity tab. Select Selling Manager Pro from the drop-down. Now, under Seller Tools, click on File Management Center. This screen provides all the features of File Exchange. You need to start by having a template using which you can upload your product inventory. Start by clicking on Select Template. The next step is to choose a template related to the category that you want to list in. Each category has a customized listing template that helps you enter item specifics that are specific to your category. Click on Select a Category under Selling Manager Pro Listing Templates. From the drop-down, select the category in which you want to list your product. Select an appropriate category from the drop-down. Alternatively, you can enter the category number of the category you want to list under in the box and then click on the Generate Template button. You can get all the category codes by visiting the link shown here. Let us understand how to list a mobile phone using File Exchange. Click on Item Specific Category Template. The .csv file will get downloaded. Click on the file to open it. Let us understand how to fill the listing templates for mobile phones. All cells marked with a star are mandatory. In cell A2, under Action, Input, Add Fixed Price Item. Ensure there are no spaces between the words. In cell B2, under Custom Label, provide the item code. For example, you may use iPhone 6S as the custom label. Next, in cell C2, under Category, put in the category number. Now go to cell E2 and input the title. Make sure that the input should not exceed 180 characters. In cell F2, provide the subtitle. In cell G2, provide the URL of the picture. Remember, you can provide up to 12 pictures for each listing free of cost. To add more images, the two URLs should be separated by a vertical bar. Please refer to the video on TurboLister to understand how to create the URL for the picture. In column I2, provide the description. Please note 
that the input in the cell I2 has to be an HTML code. Now, in cell J2, provide the format fixed price in this case. In cell K2, provide the duration of the listing. This input can be 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, 30 or GTC, whatever is the duration you want. In L2, provide the start price of the product. In cell N2, provide the quantity available. Under COD, in cell O2, put 1 only if you have subscribed to PowerShip. Sellers who do not have PowerShip should leave the cell blank. Next, Come to R2 under Pesa Pay and input 1. This indicates that you accept payments through Pesa Pay. This is applicable for PowerShip as well as non PowerShip sellers. Next, come to cell W2 and provide the location of the product. This is the location of the warehouse from which the product will be dispatched. Under Shipping Services 1 option, in cell Y2, Input flat rate underscore 1. Under Shipping Services 2 option, in cell AA2, input 1. Under Shipping Service Cost, in cell AB2, input 0. Under Shipping Time, in cell AC2, put the number of days you will need to dispatch the product. For the same day dispatch, put 1. Else, 2 or 3. The time you put here should not be more than the standard time allowed by eBay for the category in which you are listing. Rest of the cells that are not mandatory can be left blank. With this, you have provided all the inputs to the template for listing your phone and the file is ready for upload. If you have to list another article, for example, another iPhone, let's say an iPhone 5S, all you need to do is copy row 2 and paste them in row 3. Next, you need to make all the relevant changes in row 3. For example, you may want to change the custom label or the title or subtitle. Please make all relevant changes. Next, save the file on your desktop. Give it an appropriate name. Make sure that the file is saved in .csv format. Uploading the file Let us now understand how the file created is to be uploaded. Start by clicking on the Upload Inventory link under File Management Center. Click on File Location button under Choose File. From the desktop, select the file. Now, click on Upload button. You will see a message that your file has been successfully uploaded. You will also receive a file reference number for the uploaded file. It usually takes 5 to 10 minutes for the upload to happen. To check the upload result, click on View Upload Result under Upload section in the File Management Center. You can observe the update date and time and reference number. You will observe that the status is showing as in progress. Once the upload is complete, the status will convert to completed and you will see a link under Load Result Report. Viewing Load Result Report to view the load result report, click on the download link under the load result report. You will see a .csv file with a list of all the items that you had uploaded through file exchange. All you need to do is check column edge containing the item ID. If the item ID has been generated, it means that the item has been uploaded successfully. Wherever the item ID is blank, it means that there was a problem in uploading this particular item. You will also see failure written in column C for this item. To understand the reason for the failure, check column E 
called error message and go to cell E2. You will see the message. The error has happened in the row as indicated in column A. Now that we know the cause of the failure, we can go back to the uploaded file and make the necessary correction. Once you have made the correction, you need to upload only the article in which the correction was made and not the entire file. Remember, the new file should be saved with a different name. If you upload another file with the same file name again, the system will not accept it and give you an error message. Important Tips Please remember to give the file a new name after you have fixed the error. File Exchange will not accept a file name that has been uploaded earlier. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Watch other training videos on our YouTube channel.